As a writer, you make choices about your work. One of those choices is how you incorporate the ideas of others into your own writing. Citation can look different depending on the genre. On social media, you might tag the original creator of a post. For artistic works, you might include an artist's statement citing your inspiration. For many college writing assignments, you'll use a traditional citation style, like APA or MLA, where you include bibliographic information about all the sources you used. When an author intentionally misrepresents someone else's idea as their own, it's called plagiarism. Plagiarism is a form of academic dishonesty, kind of like cheating on a test or copying someone else's work. We attribute or give credit to other creators to acknowledge the time and effort that goes into crafting new ideas. It's a sign of respect. Citation also helps our readers find the original source so they can learn from it too. Scholarship is a conversation, and the back and forth of ideas is key to creating new knowledge and understanding. You might paraphrase an author by summarizing the author's ideas in your own words, or you might use a direct quotation for a term or passage in quotation marks. Citation styles can make it clear to your reader which ideas are yours and which are someone else's. At first, it seems like you need to cite everything, but if something is common knowledge in the community you're writing in, like the sun is hot, you don't need to cite that information. Sometimes authors will remix and reuse their own works in different contexts. In the scholarly world, you might cite yourself or ask permission from your publisher to reuse material you've presented elsewhere. Here at CSUDH, you'll also need to ask before reusing your work in a different context or class to maintain academic integrity. Some instructors might also use software like Turnitin to check for originality. These software programs search their database of student papers and select published works to look for matches. They aren't great at figuring out if you've accurately cited or attributed the ideas of others. Your originality score might be high if you use a lot of direct quotations. Common phrases can also trigger a match. Don't panic if your score seems high. There is no hard and fast rule of what percentage equates to plagiarism. You and your instructor can review the matches to see what's going on in the context of your assignment. Like citation generators, these software programs are just a tool in an entire toolbox we have as creators. You can learn more on how to cite in different styles through the library citation guides. Librarians are also here to help you understand and use different citation practices. For assistance with your writing and the choices you make as an author, check out the CSUDH Writing Center.